Hello friends, this video on hydrocarbons part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So we'll start our chapter with alkane. We will study alkane, alkene, alkyne and aromatic uh, hydrocarbon, mostly benzene. Let's start chapter with alkane. So what are alkanes? So they are saturated hydrocarbon. As I told, they are all single bond they have. They are also called paraffins. Please know paraffins. Why paraffins? Para means less, affins means affinity because they are less reactive, right? So because all they are all double single bonds and they are saturated. As I told, a person who is satisfied in the line, that person won't react, right? Similar to uh, our real world, organic chemistry also. These guys, methane, ethane, propane, they have all single bonds. They have all single bonds. They are saturated in the line, so they won't react. They'll react, but they'll react less, right? So they are called paraffins. Less affinity. Methane is the first member. This guy is my first member. This is CH4. Right? This is methane. This is the first member of this family. And this is gas in the gas form. It's found in the coal mines or the marshy places. And if you see all the carbon atoms in the methane is sp3 hybridized. You see this is the structure of methane. This is my carbon here. And this is these are my four sp3 orbitals. And all these four sp3 orbitals, each of my hydrogen is attached. Correct. We have discussed this in the previous video also where we discussed about the hybridization of carbon. And especially we took the example of methane also there. So here you see this is my carbon and these are my four hydrogens. And you see all these, this carbon is sp3 hybridized. If you take hey, this example also this carbon here. This carbon is also 1, 2, 3, 4, sp3 hybridized. This guy also 1, 2, 3, 4, so sp3 hybridized. Correct? So in this, the carbons are generally sp3 hybridized. So let's understand the homologous series of the alkanes. So the general formula of the alkanes is CnH2n plus 2. So if you see how I got this formula is, if you see this, Alkanes. The first one is methane. If you see this with the formula, the moment you go to the next guy, it is C2H6, that is ethane. And if you see the difference, the difference between these two is CH2, right? One carbon, two hydrogen. Similarly, if you go from here to here, this is two carbon, this is three carbon, the one carbon difference, two hydrogen, six hydrogen, eight hydrogen, two carbon difference, two hydrogen difference. So here also the difference is CS2. So if you see, if you go down here also, if you see 3 and 4, one difference of carbon, 8 and 10, there is a difference of two hydrogens. So it also depends on two hydrogens. So if you go down the group, every new member, you have to add CS2. And thus, if you get this formula, CN, H2, N plus 2. You put N is equal to 1, let's suppose, you get C1, H4, that is methane. You put N is equal to 2, you get C2, H2 into 2, 4 plus 6, C2H6, that is ethane. You put N is equal to 3, you get C3H2 into 3, 6 plus 2, 8. C3H8, that is propane. You put N is equal to 4, you get C4, and this becomes 4 into 2, 8 plus 10, that is H10, that is butane. So if you see, this is the formula that satisfies all the member of alkanes. And that's why you have this homologous series, right? As I told, for homologous series, the requirement was that all should have one common formula. And then when they go down the group for a given uh, homologous series, there should be addition of by particular number of, let's suppose, carbon hydrogen atoms, right? And they all have similar chemical and physical properties. We'll talk about the physical and chemical properties in the next few slides. Just understand this is my homologous series. This is how a methane looks. This is how ethane looks, two carbon, six hydrogen. This is how propane looks, one, two, three carbons. And my eight hydrogens, three in this, three in this, and two in this carbon. And this is how my butane looks. 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon. And you have 10 hydrogens. Right? Now, let's talk about the nomenclature and isomerism of alkanes. So the first three alkanes, if you see, they have only one property, structure actually. Methane, ethane, property, if you see, they, you, can, you can develop only one structure. Because if you see methane, this is my structure of methane, right? Correct. And you can have only one methane. You can't have isomerism in methane. Similarly, in ethane and propane, you can develop only one structure. But it is as you go high, you can have more than one structure. And go high in the sense, 
you talk about the higher um, alkanes, for example, butane, pentane, hexane, you can draw more structure. For example, this is by butane, correct? So if I want to draw the structure of butane, I can draw two structures. You see, the structure of butane I can draw in two fashion. Either I can draw a straight one or I can draw a branch one. In both cases, you see 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon and 4 plus 4, 8 plus 2, 10, 10 hydrogen, C4H10. Here also you see 1, 2, 3, 4 carbon and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 10 hydrogens. So in both cases, the C4H10 formula is working, right? But you have different structure. Similarly, if you see C5H12, pentane, there are three structures. You see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon and 10 hyd 12 hydrogens here, see. Here also you see 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon and 12 hydrogen. Here also 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon and 12 hydrogens. Correct. So, as you go high, the number of isomers increase. Correct. So, you see, C6H14 has 5 isomers. C7H16 has 9 isomers. And if you talk about C10H12, you got 75 isomers. And if you increase this carbon count, the number of isomers also increases. And that's why isomerism is a critical chapter in this alkane. If you want to understand the alkane properly, you should know isomerism. So let's take one example. We will draw the structure of different chain isomers for C6H14. C6H14 is what hexane. So the first structure will be a straight one. One, two, three, four, five, six. This is my straight. I'll add carbon later. This is my hexane. The next, what I can do is I can put one branch. Four, five, six. Sorry, I will take only five. Right? So let me put one branch here. So this becomes one structure. Correct? So this guy will be my N hexane if you see. And this guy will be 1, 2 methyl. It will become pentane actually. Next, instead of at uh, second position, I'll put a third position. This chain. I'll put somewhere here. So this will become 3 methyl pentane. Correct. Next, I can put two carbons at the branch. So one option I can have is I can put these two carbons here like this or one option I have is I can put these two carbon somewhere here. Correct. So this one is my, let me name it, this will be 2,3-dimethyl. 1, 2, 3, 4 butane and this will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and this is 2, 2, right? So 2, 2 dimethyl. So let's see this one. This guy, if you see, is N hexane. Why? Because there are six carbons and a, in a straight chain. So the name is pretty simple N hexane. And if you want, you can put all this hydrogens here, which I have not put. This is easy to put. So just, we just put this hydrogens here. Correct. This is my N hexane. The next, I told you, you can have one branch. So if you see, you number in this fashion, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So now, if you're talking about one branch, you can put only in two position. At this, if I'm talking about uh, five carbon in the chain, right? If you take five carbon in chain, you want to have an, a methyl branch, you can put only in one position. If you put here, that's fine. If you put here, it will be a new one. But if you put here, it will be same, right? If you put here, what will happen? Then you take start numbering from this side, then it will become 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So if you put here or here, it is all same. Correct? This 2 methyl pentane. So if you put here, it won't be a chain, it will be a straight line. See, so start from this one. You, you first write a straight chain and then you write one carbon less and then try. Here you can't put a new carbon. The moment you put a new carbon here, it will become a straight chain. It will be similar to hexane. You can put here. Correct? You can put here, you can put here. Here also you can't put it, it will be straight chain only. But if you know this position, this position is same. If you put here or here, 2 and 4 is all same. If you put here, if you put here, then you have to start numbering from here. In both cases, you get 3 methyl pentane. In the other scenario, I told you what? You put here. So the next possibility was you had you have 5 carbon 
straight chain pentane and one methyl group. So in that case, you got two possibilities. One is two methyl pentane and one is three methyl pentane. So let me finish off this hydrogens. So these are my hydrogens here. And you can count the number of hydrogen if you want, right? Just to make sure that whatever you are doing is correct. Correct. So let's count the number of hydrogen. So it is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. And that's what we are looking for. Similarly here also, as I told, this is the structure possible. So you can put the carbon here. So if you put the carbon, hydrogen here, sorry. So here you will put hydrogen. So how many are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 14. So you're done. Now if you see, now we'll take a chain with 4 carbon. And we'll try to attach 2 carbons now, right? So here you can attach, the moment you attach here, this is all same. Straight chain only. So you can attach either these positions or you can attach in 1 carbon both ways. If you attach here, in this carbon, if you attach 2 carbon, this will be same figure, right? In that case, you start numbering from the other side. In this case, I am starting 1, 2, 3, 4. There you have to start from this side. And be same compound actually. Correct. So this is how you draw the structure. Correct. So these are my 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 structures of C6H5. That is hexane. We can draw hydrogens here. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.